The next item is discount received account. Discount received is a gain and you realize this gain when you pay to a vendor. You are paying for purchases, let us say. And all incomes and gains have credit balance. Again, this was not discussed in the previous video, but we're going to justify it here. So what is the justification? You receive your discount when you pay to the vendor. Uh, so when you pay to the vendor, what is the general entry? So you have your vendor's account or vendor is called the creditor. So creditor's account is debit. And let us say you owed the creditor 100 and you're going to pay to the creditor in cash. So cash account is credit 90 and then you're not going to pay the remaining 10. It's a mutual agreement settlement. Uh, he wants you to pay right away. If you pay right away, 10% discount. So this is the discount received account. Discount received account 10. Now you, when you prepare discount received account, discount received account, it is being credited. You are going to go to the credit side and you will write by creditor and the amount is going to be 10. Again, this is a you know new transaction for you. We have never done this before. So this 10 goes to the credit side. Uh, the 100 does not go. The 100 is divided into two parts. 90 goes to cash account and 10 goes to discount received account. So discount received is only 10 and you should only show 10 here. The confusion typically amongst the students is that you are writing creditors here and the creditors amount is 100. But we are, what we are really writing here in English language, it would be, we have received a discount from the creditors. How much discount? 10. So, you know, think about it intuitively as well. So that will help you, uh, you know, clarify the confusions from time to time. So uh, you are always going to write on the credit side of this account. There is going to be no other transaction involving discount received. This is the only transaction. Therefore, always will have a credit balance. All gains will have a credit balance. Then is discount allowed, exact opposite of the discount received account. Discount allowed is going to be when you allow your customer to pay you less. So we are going to receive some cash, cash account debit, let's say 90, and you are going to cancel off the customers so debtors account cancelled and you have discount which is being allowed so discount allowed account debit this is 10 now why do I say cancel because when you sold to the customer the journal entry was debtors account debit to sales account so you would have sold him goods worth 100 and you need to recover this 100. So this 100 debit in the debtor's account is your asset. And now you have received the money. So you are doing an opposite entry. That's what I meant by cancelling it. But you're not receiving the full money. You are allowing 10 rupees discount. So when you pre uh, prepare discount allowed account, discount allowed account, you are going to go to the debit side because discount allowed is being debited. You go here. And you're going to write the name of the other account which is being credited. So you will write two debtors and the amount is only going to be equal to 10 because discount uh, allowed is going to be debited by 10. So discount allowed account debited by 10 because debtors have been given a discount. And same as the previous entry, there is no other general entry which will uh, involve discount allowed. So there will be nothing on the credit side. Uh, in any case, so you will always have a debit balance. I'm going to write debit balance. This is uh, this is an expense. This is an expense in the sense that it helps you generate revenue. You are promoting uh, recovering money from uh, the customers. So kind of expense. Okay, next item is loss by theft. You're losing goods because of theft when this happens the general entry is loss by be it theft or fire account debit to uh, 
Now this loss could be of cash, this could be of goods, right? So if it is cash, you can write cash. If it is goods, you can write purchase account. Purchase account or cash account. Whichever is the case, you're going to write the amount here, let's say both. So in the loss by fire account, loss by fire account, you are going to go to debit side because this is being debited and you will write the names of the other accounts. So cash account and to purchase account. And therefore you see that all uh, the journal entries where a loss is involved, you are going to be writing on the debit side of this account. There is no transaction we are going to write this. There is no transaction where you will credit loss by theft account because you know you credit only incomes, you debit all the expenses and losses. So this is a loss and hence uh, this is going to have a debit balance. Let's do next uh, item. This is commission income. This is an income. All incomes have credit balance. Incomes expenses are in a very straightforward cases. Whenever you have an income, you are receiving the income. So either in cash or in bank, let us say both. So 50 being received in cash 50 through bank and you credit the name of the income which is commission income. So to commission account, this is 100. Commission is being credited, you go to credit side and you are going to write by cash account or you are going to write by bank account. 50 and 50. You will never have a posting on the debit side of an income account. This is a commission, commission income account. Therefore, it is always going to have a credit balance. All incomes and gains have a credit balance. Let's do one more. Carriage on purchase. Carriage is transportation expense. So when you pay the carriage, the general entry is carriage account debit to cash account or you can pay through bank. This is an expense. Since this is an expense, you are always going to debit the expense account. You will write on the debit side to cash. There will be no entry on the credit side ever because if you were receiving transportation, then it will not be an expense. That will be an income. That is a you know new account. That's not expense account. So this is carriage expense account. All expenses always have a debit balance. Carriage on sales. Uh, so carriage on purchase and carriage on sales. I mean, this is transportation cost. When you are purchasing from vendor, it is carriage on purchase. When you are delivering goods to customer and you have promised to take care of uh, the transportation cost, then you call it carriage on sale. Uh, both are expenses. So you again going to say carriage account debit to cash. You are never going to credit the carriage account because this is not an income unless you are in transportation business, you know, then it is your service income. So that is different, totally different. So again, you will write to cash on the debit side of carriage account and you will never write anything on the credit side. Always going to have a debit balance. Uh, this is an expense. All right, let me stop here. There are more accounts that we will discuss in a continued uh, video next up.